Today we're going to be talking about an Epson L1800 based DTF printer and how to use the Epson adjustment program to identify error codes. Let's power the printer on to see what happens. After a moment, we can see the two red lights blinking, indicating a fatal error on the machine. Let's open up the top and see what's going on. The first thing I notice when I open the top is the magenta damper is missing. A missing damper would not usually cause a fatal error. Next, we'll turn the machine on with the top open to see if we can spot what might be causing the problem. After opening the top and turning on the machine, I think I might have found the problem. Did you hear that grinding noise? There's something wrong with the capping station. Let's check and see what the Epson adjustment program error is, just to confirm our findings. Before we can run the adjustment program, we have to ensure that the USB communication cable is plugged in to the printer and the computer. This end plugs into the printer. And this end of the cable plugs into the computer. Next, we'll go to our computer's desktop to open the Adjustment Program folder. On your desktop, browse to the Adjustment Program for your system and double-click the folder. Inside the folder, you'll find the Adjustment Program EXE file. Double-click the .exe file to start the Adjustment Program. After starting the Adjustment Program, Go down to the Port Selection dialog and choose the printer make and model that you have. In this case, we'll be working with an Epson L1800. I'll choose the Epson L1800 series from the drop-down list and click OK. After choosing your printer's port and clicking OK, you'll be presented with all of the options for adjustment. Scroll down and highlight Printer Information Check. Then click OK to open the status options. Inside the Printer Information dialog, click the Get Status button in the lower left hand corner. In the Get Status dialog box, you'll see the status of the printer. Right now we can see that our printer is in a fatal error state. Click Close to close that dialog. After closing the printer status box, click check in the upper right hand corner. You'll be presented with the five last errors of your printer. Error number one is the current error. For our L1800, I can see that our current error is OAH. It's also been the last four errors before that. Next, we need to find out what the OAH error means. So. Now that we know what the error code is, we can go into Google and just Google what the error code means. BCH Technologies is a great source for finding a lot of uh, information about systems and error codes. We can see that a uh, this particular error can be related to the uh, to the carriage system or the carriage system being stuck or something obstructing it which relates back to the grinding noise we heard so now we'll refer to the service manual we'll find a list of uh, errors based off of observations, what we've seen and heard. And we'll scroll through that list to find something that gives us an idea of what we can do. There's a lot of tips and tricks inside the, uh, the Epson service manuals that will get you a long way 
um, to fix your printer. We can pretty much assume now that we've got a problem with the uh, the ink supply system or the, uh, the, the, the capping station. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the uh, service manual and I'm going to scroll to the uh, the section that goes over how to um, change and repair the capping station. On this page in the manual you'll find a description of what all the flashing lights mean like the uh, the amount of time that they flash um, how often they flash all of that is described in here and what it could possibly mean uh, and what you could do to maybe remedy the issue all right guys so now that we have a pretty good idea of what's wrong with this particular printer the next video is gonna be kind of a guide to uh, to walk everybody through the steps of uh, replacing this particular part uh, it's the capping station in this case and um, pretty much we're going to refurb this entire machine step by step so i uh, hope to see you on the next video uh, please subscribe and like and uh, and i look forward to hearing from you and good luck and happy printing